Speedometer Charts in Looker Studio. It's always a fan favorite, getting some sort of gauge of good to bad and, and a visual version of that, right? So in Looker Studio, there is a default gauge visual. Uh, and it looks like this. You've got a little bit of, um, not a whole lot of flexibility with what the colors can do. And this is like, this is great for like a percent to goal kind of a thing, but it's not always great for um, something like a good, bad, okay. So what we're gonna do is delete that. We're gonna go here to community visualizations and gauge is a pretty common one that should be towards the top of that list for everybody. And this is our speedometer. So I'm gonna do this for AOV, which is average order value. And I've got a formula for AOV that I'm gonna add in here. And AOV, sometimes quick check. Uh, if you do that, if you just hit a space bar in there, it recognizes what's going on in the formula. So we're gonna make this AOV. And now we, we wanna change these um, metric ranges, right? So over here in style, we're gonna make the minimum, I think the minimum is around 300. We're gonna make the maximum around 900. You can see the graph's going wild right now, right? Um, you can change the number of ticks and all that good stuff, but the thing that we're gonna do is change the leftmost, middlemost, and rightmost, meaning in our case, bad, okay, good. It's defaulted to be named green, yellow, red, but um, we're just gonna change the colors so that it goes red, uh, whoops, it goes red, yellow, and then green. So there we go, still nothing on the graph, right? That's because we gotta change the range start and end areas. So red we're gonna say is, I don't know, 300 to, let's call it 500. The middle is gonna be 500 to 700. And then the end is gonna be 700 to 900. There we go. So this still looks kind of ugly, right? Because that needs some formatting. The name needs a little bit of help as well. Uh, if you have a long name like net customer sales, it just doesn't fit in here. So what you can do is first off, you can hide the label. So AOV is gone, right? We can just make a text box over it that says AOV. And then to change the actual value of this, we're gonna go over here to presets. We're gonna to go to currency. There we go. We can keep the dollars if we want. Um, if you don't want this, you could put in, I don't think that zero works. You'd have to do a dollar sign zero. There we go. So now we don't care about the cents anymore. We're gonna put a text box over the top that says AOV and we've got a very good metric for whether our AOV is good, bad, or indifferent. 